Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so just a quick review. I am attaching these designs that I'm making inside of my animal and I'm going to be adding designs into the background. And I just want to review today how, um, how I did these, these designs that I started here. It looks like I took green and cut out these rectangles, but I didn't. Instead, I drew the rectangles on the background paper, on the black, and then I cut from there. So let me just show you how I did that. Okay, just like this, I'm cutting into my background paper. Of course, you wanna be really careful when you're doing this since you know this, this is part of your finished product. Once you get these off, you can then attach another color of paper to the background. Now sometimes this is tricky for people to do with glue. So let me just first show you how I'm taking another piece of paper, another color, and I wanna make sure it's first gonna fit. And then I'm gonna turn this over. Okay, and I'm gonna put the glue let me place this, place this so you can see it. I'm going to put the glue on the background paper itself. Okay, so see how I'm putting the glue here on the black paper. Don't put glue all over this one because then, you know, when you stick it down, you're going to have that glue showing. All right, now I can place this down. And if there's any, you know, like right here I have some extra, no big deal. I can just add a little bit more glue to that. Okay. And there you have it. Now, one more review for you. This right here, this would not be enough. I need to add more. So what I started making are these little, this little oval shapes. So I, I decided to make this shape because I didn't want everything to be these rectangles because I thought that would be too much. So I can play around with placement and see, you know, where would this look the best? Let's say I like it, I don't know maybe here, then I could make another one to balance it on the opposite side. So I already started that. I have this little blue oval that I made. I'm gonna just glue this down to some green so that it'll match. And then keeping with the style that we see in traditional molas, I'm gonna make that outline around it. So I'm going to draw a line and now I'm gonna cut on that pencil line so that I have this green line around my blue oval. And then I can place this down using glue and make it balanced with the other side. I think right there looks good. So I'll go ahead and add that down in there. So looking at what I have so far, right now there's only one color that I haven't used in my background that I have inside my MOLA in some animal and that's purple. So that should tell me, you know, maybe it's time to pick up some of my purple scraps and start doing some patterning with that too. Okay, so remember you're repeating patterns. You're using a variety of colors, trying to stay with the color scheme you originally chose, you know, those four or five colors. And um, you're balancing everything. So you really want what you do on one side to be balanced. Balance can happen diagonally. Balance can be you know, top and bottom, but you just want it to feel like it has an equal amount of weight on all sides of it. All right, and then, you know, have fun with this. Really try to over-design it. On MOLAs, you see a lot of patterns with lines, shapes, and colors, both in the background and inside of your animal. You can add in a flower designs, leaves, other animals if you want in your background as well. So really play with this and have fun. Thanks for watching.